A young girl is making history in the key city as the first female Eagle Scout. KRBC's Heather Easley caught up with the busy 13 year old at Camp Tonkawa this past weekend. Penguins, attention! Taking command of a room might be hard for most, right on. Have you ever seen but not for Isabella McCutcheon. This dynamic 13 year old knows how to entertain a lunch line of hungry kids and a table of the most prestigious leaders in our city at the mayor's breakfast. And they were just so impressed with her and her ability to lead the, the color guard and she sat at the table and she had command of the table. So they were very impressed and they, they actually called me the next day and told me this, this story of how impressed they were with her. Isabella's leadership skills shined at Camp Tonkawa, where she taught younger scouts about gun safety. So whenever you push it on this side, it's right alongside her troop leader and grandmother, Helen. Isabella recalls the time in kindergarten when she decided she wanted to join the Boy Scouts. They had been going to my elementary school talking about Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. And I was like, can I do that one? And they were like, no, you got to do Girl Scouts because you're a girl. Fourth grade came around and they were passing out flyers to everyone about Cub Scouts. And I was like, ooh, can I do this? And he was like, yeah, you can. Anybody can do it now. Then I became a part of Cub Scouts, and I've been a part of it ever since, and I fell in love with the program. She received her official Eagle Scout certificate back in February after completing her service project, where she rebuilt a fence for the Alliance of Women and Children, and even went to the home improvement store to pick out supplies. She's been an inspiration to her troop, 306, and even has several girls coming up behind her in the program. In Abilene, Heather Easley, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Heather. Not only is Isabella the first female Eagle Scout, she is also one of the youngest. She says the skills she's learned through the program will be some she can carry through the rest of her life.